Now, the discount fashion chain Primark has admitted it's struggling with higher costs and supply chain issues as it recovers from the effect of the coronavirus pandemic lockdown. Primark says it's experiencing limited availability on some of its product lines due to supply chain disruption. Primark lost one third of its trading days in the 53 weeks to mid-September, it says. Successive lockdowns have seen the retailers' annual sales fall 5% on last year and they're 12% down on pre-COVID levels. Yet Primark says it will pay a special shareholder dividend and expand from just under 400 stores now to 530 in five years' time with a particular focus on the US, France and Italy. Despite the negative impact of the pandemic, Primark, Primark says some lockdown-related trends are actually working in its favour. Its autumn and winter range is geared towards so-called comfort living, a new loungewear range featuring what Primark calls the snoody. It's a snugly oversized hoodie for those lazy days when your comfiest clothes just don't cut it. And here it is. The snoody is, Primark tells us, attracting a strong response from customers across all markets. The men's avocado print and Minnie Mouse design for children are particularly popular. But beyond the comfort wear, there are some potentially uncomfortable realities. Primark has no online retail operations. Has that damaged sales? The chains made an upbeat statement this morning announcing more stores, but sales are still below pre-pandemic levels. Now, this mixed picture of one of the UK's most dynamic high street chains is reflected across retailing as a whole. Supply chain snarl-ups, including that shortage of HGV drivers, but containers were as well, and congestion at ports, they're all delaying the delivery of stock. Such issues, it seems, are prodding consumers to start their Christmas shopping early, given fear of shortages. During October, retail sales were 1.3% higher than the same month in 2020. That's according to the British Retail Consortium. But will this industry survey feed into the official numbers? The Office for National Statistics, after all, has recorded falling resale sales every month between May and September, the longest consumer slump for 25 years. So amidst these mixed messages, that's today's On The Money question. We've had mixed news from Primark and retail as a whole. It's a question of vital importance to countless other businesses across the UK, and it's this. Is the British high street facing a slow Christmas?